Hello. Hi, Drew. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Right Now. I am Drew. I am Adrian. She's Adrian. I am Adrian. And we are going to take you on a journey back in time today. Because, yeah, it's exciting, right? This I is did a, not this know is... we were time traveling. I know. I like it. So, got the DeLorean out back, or the train, depending on whether or not you're a Back to Future 3 fan. Personally, I think it's fine. Tardis. Anyway, this is what we're talking about. TARDIS, yes, I will, TARDIS. I'll give you that. You. Um, the Pilot Knight. This is interesting because it has not been sold for eight years. What? Or around that time. We had this pen back when I first started with the company eight years ago. In the garage. In the garage. Cool. And um, I think even back then it was on its way out. I think that uh -huh. uh, Brian told me that it had been discontinued and we just had a bunch laying around. Fair enough. Um, but we are going to start selling this again. Cool. And this is, uh, this is uh, new old stock. So this is the same pen from, you know, 2011 or wherever. Yeah, that would be eight years. Um, That's pretty cool. But So it's not a new pen. It is the old pen. It's been, you know, sitting around for a while. We came across a bunch of them, and we're going to allow you to buy them if you want them. Awesome. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, the big comparison to be drawn here is between this and the Metropolitan. Yeah. So the Metropolitan came out, you know, not too long after the Pilot Knight was discontinued. So it's kind of the spiritual successor to the Knight um, and you're going to get a lot of the same writing experience. So what, what, are you, what are the two biggest differences that you see there? Well, the first thing that stands out to me is this clip. Yeah, it's a pretty cool clip. I am loving that clip because in my head, Pilot Knight, this is a clip. It looks like an axe. I don't know if knights carry axes, Interesting. but chop, chop, I could totally see I feel like they can see. carry whatever they want. Yeah, I, I, that's my first impression, to be yeah. honest. That is actually pretty cool. It's one of those clips that... Um, you know, is incorporated yeah. into the uh, the cap finial, so it kind Ooh, of moves easy to use. Uh, with the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a solid that's clip. Nice. That's nice. Um, I think it's a little heavier than the Metro, too. The Metro, they're both aluminum, so they're both going to, you know, they're not going to be uh, insubstantial, but um, the oh yeah, the Knight it's is... Got, it's got a weight to it. It might be brass with aluminum, I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. it's definitely got a little bit of heft going on. It's also a little bit shorter, yeah, and the grip, shorter. Ooh, the grip section is actually quite a bit shorter. It grips actually very short and it does not flare out like the metros do. Yeah, that's nice. So if you are a fan of getting your positioning and your fingers closer to the paper, you might get a little bit more control with the knife if that's your thing. I don't know. The step's not bad either. No, it's a solid with a, with a With a short grip, the step could be really annoying. Yeah, and it's a snap cap, so you're not going yeah, to have to be dealing with any threads thing. or anything like that. It's the nib nice itself snap. is identical to the Pilot Prera. Um, while the writing, all three of these nibs share all three of these pens share pretty much the same nib, mm -hmm. but the imprint on these two say Super, Super Quality, quality Japan. Japan. <laughs> um, where the nib on the uh, Metro is a newer nib. It just says Pilot Medium Japan. And it's uh, laser etched, and these are like uh, stamped. Yeah. Nice. So, Super Quality Japan. I like that. I like, I really like that. You know, and it's really nice that it's that brush silver because that's a really classy yeah these are only going to be coming in silver back in the day nice. they did come in multiple colors the ones we found mm -hmm. we didn't found <laughs> the ones <laughs> we came poking up. around yeah. were they still in brian's garage <laughs> no. um uh they're all going to be silver medium nice so that's all we nice. got but we're going to sweeten the pot a little bit you might be wondering why this ink is here well we also did my best came Anna. across a bunch of these uh three ink sets that pilot uh, once once sold. So okay. we're breaking those all apart. And with every purchase of a pilot night, you're gonna get to pick one of these little dudes. So we've got Momiji. Uh, what you got there? Uh, Shinryoku. Shinryoku, yeah. And Yuyake. Oh, Yuyake. That's a really nice one. I love that orange. That's a great it's Halloween fun. orange. And that's yeah. one of the best inks to put in a demonstrator too. I yeah, love the way that looks inside does. of a clear uh, ink chamber. It's got so much richness with it. Like it's just a very vibrant orange. And that's the thing, when, you, when you're when you using clear, not clear ink, but uh, inks that are transparent mm -hmm. inside of clear barrels, yeah. they look beautiful in the barrels themselves. If you're using like a Twisby Eco or something like that. Yeah. But then when you write, on, write with them, they're kind of like, okay, yeah. well, it, lo it looked good here. But then, but this one, you're right, it does yeah. have much more vibrancy for an ink as transparent as it is. That would be a really sharp looking kind of surprise ink inside that silver because yeah. that's very classy and very, you know, professional. And then you've got 
pop up. Like One other that. thing to mention is this will come with the same converter that the Metropolitan comes with, the Con B squeeze converter. Nice. So does have a converter. Might not be everybody's favorite. I actually like it quite a bit. I do too. I feel like it's a very easy converter to use, especially really if this is. is your first fountain mm -hmm. pen. And you can't see what's going on in it because it, there's nothing clear. But if you squeeze it and it pops right out, you know nothing's happening. Yeah. But if you squeeze it and the rubber sack inflates slowly, mm -hmm. you know it's doing its job. Yeah. So that's a good little tip. If Did you're you like gonna... that sound effect? Oh, yeah, it needed to happen. Yeah. Absolutely it's necessary. It's what happens. Um, so if you're getting it for a gift, you can kind of pass that information along as well. Yeah. Speaking of giftability, 32 bucks is what we're starting this thing off what? at. That's pretty incredible. I, for, not, I don't think it's bad. For a Japanese yeah. nib. A substantially weighted pen. pen, yeah. And some ink. Mm-hmm. That is yeah. really nice. So the ink's a while supplies last sort of situation, so right. uh, probably won't be around forever. Um, definitely won't be around forever, but we've got a good amount, so yeah. um, check it out. Uh, Choose your poison. And uh, I think it's a great gift pen, personally. You know, holidays are fast approaching. Or if you just uh, wanted to pick up a nice, uh, you know, second cousin to the Pirate Pilot Metropolitan. The Pirate Metropolitan. Oh, gar. <laughs> I like that now. Yeah. I want to draw a picture. Yes. Of, okay. Yes. Anyway. Do it. Um, In one of these colors. Yeah. And that about does it. <laughs> so um, tell us what you think about the night, or just buy one and enjoy it. Because it's a pilot, and you really can't go wrong with them. So, no, can't. anyway, thank you for joining me, Adrian. You were so welcome. It's been Jim. excellent, and uh, quick and fun little uh, pilot night update for you. Cool. Go back in time. Enjoy your pen. Right on. Right on. <laughs>